Hello my lovelies, now I'm going to go through the beautiful charm, tarot charm prototype that I was sent by Emily. She sent me a little wish pocket as well. So I got, there wouldn't be a sky full of stars if we were all meant to be wishing on the same one. Oh, so cute. So I received a message saying that these are going to be metal now this is a plastic prototype so i'm really hoping i get to play with the metal ones when they come out but these are a plastic prototype and i have a number of sort of tarot charm like items um like sawyer's path oh my gosh they're so cute the little stick figures now i'm just going to try and get them out i don't know what order they're gonna come in ah they're gonna be random order guys oh shoot i'm trying i'm trying okay i'm gonna have to find a nice little box to pop all of these in okay so it came in a lovely little pouch uh so i'm gonna move these over and let's see if i can find okay so this is they are about the size, I mean, that's the size of my thumb. You can see there. So they're quite smooth, but I really love the, um, the metal charms that I've been, I've seen a, a prototype of in my email. Maybe I can put it in this video too, just a little quick snapshot. Magician. These would be so good for doing charm castings. High Priestess. They're very simple, but they still have a lot of the, the symbols of the tarot. So cute. They're really light too. Oh my god, they're so cute. The lion. They are smaller than the, um, if you have any of Jamie Sawyer's. So that's the hanged man. Any of Jamie Sawyer's. Oh, shoot. Charms. The enamel ones. These are a lot smaller. As you can see, they're all <laughs> right away. It's very cute. Oh, we got some. Okay. I love this idea. Like I said, I'm really looking forward to seeing the metal ones, but I'm glad I got this prototype too, because if Emily sends the other ones, which I'm not saying she has to at all, um, but it means I can play with both of them. So it's a major arcana, and now we're moving on to the wand. So as you can see here, hopefully the light's still okay. I love that noise too. It still holds like the energy of The Rider Waite Smith, really, really easy to know which one's which, just even with the court cards. So the, the cat, you know, being in the Queen of Wands and then the Salamander and the Dragon with uh, being the King of Wands. So even that is really easy to identify, which I really like. These are adorable. I don't know where my four's gone. Oh, four's here. Four. And the backs are white, as you can see. Five. So I'm going to um, a place in the...
in the description box below where you can go and follow Amelie's work. I hope I'm saying that right. It's probably Amelia. Is it? Emily? I don't know. If it, I'm so sorry if I've, if I've said your ah, name wrong. So you can check out when this goes live. So we have the little page there, the knight, the queen and the king of cups. So again, if you know, like the queen is has the lid on top of her um, cup and she's sitting side profile, whereas the king is sitting front on. So now we're into the swords. And I love that these can be used to cast over, whoops, a tarot spread. So what I would do with these is roll a die and then probably a six-sided die because you don't want to pick too many cards. So you roll the die, you pop them in a pouch, so I'll show you. So there's a couple of ways you can use these because I, I use charms a lot in um, my readings. I use my witch's runes, which you can still learn how to read over at my Tarot Readers Academy. Um, I use um, a lot of Jamie Sawyer's. I use Carrie Paris's uh, runes that I've worked with her to create for summer school and her other ones. I've got all of her sets. So I use these sorts of items. I use Norse runes. So we have the page, the knight, the queen and the king. Okay. They're really cute. They're very lightweight. I really like that. So I'm just going to pop them. Sorry about the knocking on the tripod. Oh. It sounds so good, that noise. A little bit of ASMR for you. So say I roll the four. I would I'm probably gonna put these in a bigger pouch so that I can move them a little bit, like shake them up a little bit more. And then you will close your eyes and pick four. So one, two, so we've got the King of Pentacles, Temperance, the Ten of Swords, and the Page of Wands. So this is my reading. And or you could have a tarot card reading already and then you would cast these on top on top of it like so and see where they fall but the really fun thing about doing this like with a, a die and creating your reading is now that you you have this so we have you know past present future message we've got the king of pentacles speaking about things on the material plane, monetary things, maybe being too rigid or being too scared about your security. And then we have this healing energy of temperance and saying, you've got to let it go. And especially because it's swords, not allowing that mental space to be taken up with stress. And then the page of one saying, you know, to start looking at things with more joy and appreciation in your life and have a little bit more fun. These two are quite different energies so, you know, having a look at that more fun energy and moving away from the more strict energy uh, from earth to fire. So these are adorable. Thank you so much for sending me the little prototype my way. Um, as I mentioned, I'm going to pop in the description below where you can go and follow um, Emily's work and where you can go and support the project. And thank you so much for watching.